Hey, what's up everybody? This is part 3, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Selenium to start making searches and earn some points. So let's get right into it. As you can see, the code looks a little bit different from last time, but it's not that complicated and I'll just explain to you what I did. So in these three lines, I put my email and my password into a different file and then I load that file into a variable called credentials and then every time I have to use my email, I use credentials and then I use the key email and then my this represents my actual email and then when I use the key password on credentials, it uses my actual password. So that way, when I'm making videos, my email and password aren't publicly visible. So another thing you might notice that's different is these four lines, which I didn't go over in the previous video, but hopefully I gave you guys the techniques and tools to uh, fill out the password and press the sign in button. But I'll go into that really quickly just uh, I'll go into that really quickly right now. So all I did was I created a variable. I found the element by XPath, and this is the uh, the password text fields XPath. And then I filled in my password into it using send keys. And then I found the sign in button the exact same way as the next button using XPath. And then I used the function click to click on that button and log me in. So if you guys have something similar, it Seems like it should work in theory, but actually an error might occur if you do this. So let me just show you what I mean. So let's run python bing.py and let's see what happens. So first it'll fill out my email, but all right, so it looks like it's yelling at us. And uh, this is the specific line it's yelling at us for, and it's password, text field, send keys, credentials, password. So this line is giving us an issue. And essentially what's happening is after we click the next button, the browser is loading. So when you're trying to find this element by XPath, it's not really there because your page is loading and it can't find that element. So when you try to send your password into something that doesn't really exist, Python is going to yell at you. So a really easy way to fix this, but this isn't the best way to fix it but this will work for our needs in this video, is to use a time delay between clicking that button and finding this password text field. So to make a time delay, all we have to do is import time, which is just a library that has a method called sleep that will create a delay for us. And between clicking and finding this password text field, Let's create a time delay. So let's do time and then use the function sleep. And then inside this function, we need to pass in the number of seconds we want it to sleep for. So in this case, I think one second will work. So let's just make it delay for one second. So how this will work will be, it'll click that next button and then it'll wait for a second. And then it'll find the password text field, fill it out, find the button and press the button. So Let's see if it works as we intended to. Awesome. So it looks like we were able to sign in and let's get right to searching things. So to search things, we don't want to search things here. Let's search on bing.com. So this is the place we want to search. And first we have to go to this URL. And to do so, I already showed you how our browser can uh, go to a specific URL using the method, using the function get. So after we sign in, we want to go to that bing.com URL. So I just copied that URL, and now we're going to do browser.get, and then in these quotations, the URL or link that we want to go to. So bing.com. Awesome. So after we sign in, it'll go to bing.com. Now let's fill in this search text field and then let's press this search button. So this is exactly the technique we used before. So we right click and we inspect it and it looks like right away this is the input tag we want and when we highlight it, it corresponds to this text field. So let's 
copy its XPath. And then now let's create a variable called search text field. And let's find it using XPath. And in these quotations, we're going to put the XPath to that search text field. And then once again, we want to search something. So to fill in that text field, we have to use send keys. So let's do search text field dot send keys. And then let's just search for something random. It could be anything really. So let's search for hello world. So right now it'll find that search text field, fill in hello world. But just like before, we need to do one more thing. We need to click the search button. So let's find the X path for this search button and click it. So let's inspect. And right away, we found our input tag and it corresponds to this element. And that's exactly what we need. So let's copy its X path and let's make a new variable, search button. And we want to find this button using X path. And now we want to click this button. And Selenium made this easy for us. And all it is is search button dot sl oh, not sleep, sorry dot um, click and whoops don't want a semicolon there and looks like I spelled button wrong but it should work exactly fine with button but button makes more sense so this should be able to go to Bing find the search text field send in hello world and then find the search button and then click that search button so let's see if it does what we want it to. So let's run it using python bing.py. So first let's log in. Awesome. Going to bing.com, filling out hello world. Now we found hello world. So looks like we earned 10 points for that. Awesome. <laughs> now we have like a billion more points to go. But let's make the let's do it again. So over here Let's inspect element again and see what happens. All right, so something really interesting here. If you take a look at the ID, and the ID is SB form Q, and you might notice that our previous search text field was this same ID. Even though this is a different page, it's the same ID. And then let's see if this is true for that search button. So let's inspect that and input tag sorry the input tag is here and it corresponds and its ID is SB form go and this is also SB form go so pretty much we could recycle this and just copy it and paste it and do it twice and just so we know that it works let's search for something different so let's search for Python so first it'll fill in hello world and then it'll search for hello world and then it'll search for the text field again, and then it'll send in Python, and then it'll find that button again, and it'll click that button. So let's see if that works as intended as well. All right, so we're logging in, going to bing.com, looking for hello world, and then we look for hello world Python. So it kind of makes sense why this happens, and after you put in hello world, it stays there, and then we're sending Python, so it's just putting it after hello world. And this isn't really uh, expected behavior. So instead, what we want to do before we put in Python is we want to clear the text field. So to do this, Selenium made it really easy once again. So all we do before we send in Python is we can say search text field dot clear. So after we find the search text field, we clear it so that way there's nothing in it and then we send the keys Python and then it'll press the button and this time it should only look for Python so let's see if that fixes our problem so first we're gonna log in and then go to Bing look for hello world awesome and now we look for Python so like I said before computers are really good at doing repetitive things and looks like we have some sort of repetition here with finding the search 
sending the search thing we want, sending the thing we want to search, and then clicking the button. So instead of having it done twice here, we could just have it once and use a loop to do it over and over. So first, before we even do that, let's make a uh, an array of things we want to search for. So let's call this search items. Oops. And then we want to, in brackets, put in each thing we want to search for. So let's look for hello world. And then another thing we can look for. So each thing we want to search for, it goes in quotations, and we're going to separate these by commas. And then the next thing we want to search for, maybe let's look for the world news. And then another thing we can look for is maybe, let's just look for Python again. So now we can loop through this array. And to do that, let's do for each item in search items. Let's run this code. So for, so how this for loop works is it'll go through each thing once. So everything separated by a comma is its own item. So the first time it runs, it'll run using hello world as the item. So first it'll find that text field and then it'll send in the keys. And this time, instead of hard coding hello world, we want to say item. So the first time it runs, item is hello world. So it fills in hello world and then it clicks the search button and searches for hello world. The second time it runs through, it'll use world news as the item, and then it'll send the item into the text field and click the search button and it'll search for world news. And last but not least, uh, the last time it runs through the loop, it'll use Python as the item, find Python and uh, search for Python. So, Again, we need to clear that text field before we put anything in. Otherwise, it's going to do hello world, and then it's going to look for hello world, world news, and then hello world, world news, Python. And that's not what we want. So we can take a precaution, so that way every single time before we send anything into the text field, we clear that text field. So we do search items dot clear, like before. And so now it'll find the text field, clear it, make sure it's empty, then put in the item according to which time we're running the loop, and then we'll find the search button and we'll click the search button. So right now, it'll go to Bing, look for these three things, and let's see if it works as we intend it to. Awesome, so log in first, and then going to bing.com, and then looking for Hello world. Oh, okay. Sorry. So it's not search items dot clear. It's search text field dot clear. Sorry about that. So we want to make sure that we're clearing the correct thing. So before I was trying to clear this list, and there is no way you can clear the list using this function. So this should fix it. Sorry about that. Let's run it again. So first we log in. And then we go to bing.com, look for hello world, for world news, look for Python. That was really fast. And as you can see, we might have a problem, Bing might have a problem with us doing this. So we can use our time.sleep as a delay again. So that way, every time before we search something, we're waiting around and pretending like we're a human and we're thinking about what we want to search for. So we can do time.sleep and we could just use one and if we use one it'll wait for one second before we search for anything now that might seem a little bit fishy too Bing might be like how does this guy know to wait for exactly one second before searching every single time so let's make it random so to do this we need a library that can generate random numbers for us obviously there's a library out there that Python has for us so to do this we want to import from the library random. So from random, we want to import randint. So randint is a module from the library random, and randint is a uh, module that can give us a random number between a certain range. So instead of making it a constant one, we can say randint, and 
let's make it somewhere between three and six, six seconds. So the first parameter is um, the number of seconds that the, the minimum integer we wanted to return. And then the next argument is the maximum number we want it to return. So by doing three comma six, I want it to generate a random number between three and six, a random integer. So three, four, five, six seconds. And then I want it to delay for that randomly generated uh, number of time, if that makes sense. So sometimes it'll sleep for three seconds. Sometimes it'll delay for four seconds, delay for five, delay for six. And it's random. So now Bing might have a harder time figuring out if we're human or not. So let's see if this works as we intended to. So Python Bing.py. Now we want to log in. Then we want to go to the search. And now it looks like it's chilling out. Think about what we want to put in there. So we want to look for Hello World. Thinking a little bit more. And all right, guess like we want to think about the look for the world news. And last but not least, Python. All right, so it looks like we loop through these things and you can add as many items as you want and it'll look for those many items and it'll delay before each search and that way it's harder to tell that we're bot. So looks like we got it to work exactly as we intended. Um, so this concludes the video, and if you have any questions or requests for future episodes, definitely comment below. Also, it would be great if I could get some feedback on things you liked about this video or things you think I can do better. In any case, thanks for watching and hope to see you guys again in the next video.